A digital multimeter is a super handy tool for quickly measuring voltage, resistance, continuity, and current in many types of electrical circuits. This is a must-have addition to all your electrical and electronic tools. They are superior to analog multimeters because of their better accuracy in measurement, sensitivity to very small changes in input voltages and clear and easy to read displays. Only downside is that they need a power supply, such as batteries, unlike analog multimeters. I'm not a professional electrician nor a tradesman. This is my second multimeter I've ever owned and I just received it from Amazon. Hi YouTube, this is Shibabs and in this video, we'll be unboxing and reviewing the Plusivo Digital Multimeter Pad Number DM1. So what comes in the package? The kit includes the digital multimeter. It also comes with two pieces of battery, which is in here. You have two AAA batteries, and all you have to do is, before you start using it, you pull this out. It comes with two premium probes, a red and a black. It also comes with an instruction manual. And if you want more information, you're gonna get this free copy of the Mastering the Art of Measurement ebook. You'll find the download instructions on the back. The placebo multimeter comes with the following extra items also. One, you've got a mini wire stripper tool. You've got a mini screwdriver got two mini this is a flat let's see if I can okay so this one right here is a flat screwdriver and this is a star screwdriver you also receive an insulating tape or electric electrical black tape and you have a 30 centimeter a ruler size mini alligator clip so that's everything that came in the box and talking about what this voltage can do, you can measure your AC voltage. You can also measure your DC voltage. You can measure resistance and you can measure direct current. So before we continue, before we see any other thing about this multimeter, we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna, we're gonna activate the battery. So you can see if, we, if I press this, it's not coming on. And now we're gonna try it again. So you see it's enough. Now it's on. So you can see the backlight. Now talking about other key features that this multimeter has, we're first gonna see general information, general features, which is, for example, we talked about the AC voltage. This is the data hold key. This is your mileage gear knob. This is the DC, the test probe socket. And we have a 10 amp maximum fuse here. We, here we have the resistance and we have the DC voltage here. And <clears throat> Lastly, we have the backlight. It turns on for about 10 seconds when you press this button here. So let's see. It's more or less bright for about 10 seconds. 
and it starts dimming. The probes are about 15.5 cm long and the effective probe is about 2 cm. The probe, the effective probe. The total length is about 110 cm. This multimeter also has one other thing that is that quite gets my attention, which is it can be handheld like this, or you can leave it as a standalone as it is equipped with this kickstand so that the multimeter can stand alone by itself for easier readings. What you're looking at here is a protective cover to protect it from physical damage. And the last feature includes this old function that retains the last measured value. I have to say I'm more impressed with this guy right here. I got this from Amazon for light home and automotive use and this thing fits the heel perfectly. Readings are fast and from what I can tell accurate. The back line is bright enough, the alligator clips and few extras it came with are a huge bonus. The side, it's small, it's manageable, and it's perfect. I still can't speak for the durability or sustained accuracy, but out of the box, the attention to detail indicates a quality product. As per instructions included or not, there is a paper advising you to download the ebook instruction manual, which is an impressive 51 page detailed instruction manual and basic electricity concepts with diagrams of various circuits for inline testing. Bottom line is I'd absolutely recommend it for anyone looking for a basic or well-featured multimeter for home and personal auto use. And hey, if I break it in a year, I'll just spend another $10. You always want to be prepared. Hope this video has been helpful and has given you enough information on the Placebo Digital Multimeter DM101. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos.